now, Heartland Sports with Luke Randall. Hey, good evening. It was a special night Saturday for the little school in Kentucky that's accomplished so much on the hardwood. I'm talking about Murray State. Saturday night, the racers hosting Hoop Palooza, a basketball reunion event. John Morant was the headliner, the Grizzly star honored with his induction into Murray State's Hall of Fame. Jaws two seasons in Murray, culminating with him becoming first team All American, uh, first team All American, and the number two pick in the NBA draft. Saturday night was a very impactful moment for Jaw. I'm pretty sure everybody knows the recent events that happened. Um, it's a lot of decisions, you know, each one of you could have made, whether it still support me or not. But uh, see y'all here it means a lot. Ja wasn't the only star in the building. He was joined by fellow NBA player and Murray alum campaign, as well as the Grizzlies GM and head coach. Morant expects to be ready to go by the start of the NBA season. To baseball now, the Thrillbillies are not in Marin because of this. The Colt World Series, the team competition featuring five different countries and nine teams total, starting to now narrow down as more and more teams start to get eliminated. The surprise of the day so far, Last year's champ Southern Illinois falling early in the loser's bracket to hosts Marion. Meanwhile, Tokyo Covina, California finished 13-6 in favor of Tokyo. The winner's bracket contains three international teams, one U.S. team. Ohio versus Mexico should start any minute now, all games at Mountain Dew Park. And excitement is high as the Cape Catfish could clinch a spot in the Prospect League playoffs as early as tonight. Cape is by far the hottest team in the league. They've won their last nine to propel them from what was near the bottom of the division to within one game of clinching the postseason. And with three games to go, Catfish, they are in a very comfortable position. So there are two ways to clinch tonight. First, the Catfish can get a win on the road over the Springfield Lucky Horseshoes or the Jackson Rockabillies, if they lose to the full count rhythm, Cape is automatically in. So here are the two games that we are watching tonight. Cape can get it done in the early game. Right now it is still scoreless in the second inning. If the Catfish lose this one, then all eyes are going to pan over to this Rockabillies full count rhythm game. That matchup should be starting up pretty soon at about 7.05.